we supply a lot of the Front Range with water. It takes a lot. I mean, it takes the whole district, really. In some way or another, everybody's tied in and got their part in it. Here at Northern, we have an obligation and a duty to do our best to get this water to the people that actually need this water. And there's a lot of moving parts to that system. We're delivering water to 375 different delivery points. Those could be all along our canals, they could be in the river. We can have anywhere from 200 orders in one weekend. It does get hectic at times, but I do enjoy working under the pressure to make sure that we are delivering water to our lattes and entities as it is needed. So the Colorado Big Thompson Project collects water on the west slope, brings it over to the east slope through a series of tunnels, pin stocks, canals, pipelines, staging reservoirs, and then we deliver it to the east slope through pipelines and canals. The Colorado Big Thompson Project is a supplemental supply, goes to municipalities. We send it to a lot of our ag communities so Northern Water does not directly deliver to residential taps. We deliver to municipal water treatment plants and ditch head gates. And then those entities will distribute directly to their own customers. Our official water running season starts April 1 ends October 31st. From November through until March 31st, it's pretty much just the pipelines that are running. We track the usage, doing delivery reports, the notification for outages that happen throughout the winter, and then come April 1, start the irrigation season, and, and then it gets busy with the orders and, and everything coming in. So starting April 1, we will collect all of the orders from 265 account entities for any water that they need the very next day. So the allottees or the account entities, they'll reach out to us either via phone calls or on the web portal. We need to determine the timing, the location, how much needs to come out of which gate at which time. We try to minimize the amount of times that that gate is opening and closing. We'll pass the, the information on to the water runner so they know what, what all needs to be delivered at the different turnouts on the canals. The water runners are the boots on the ground, the actual eyes, physical presence out on the canal. Uh, somebody looking at a SCADA screen or a security camera can only see and, and tell so much. And the water runner communicating back any issues that might arise and actual real-time physical data from the field is absolutely critical. Some days there are changes all day long, uh, and that's the primary focus, is just getting water where it needs to be and on time at an accurate flow. If one order changes, then that creates a chain reaction of um, changes that we do have to coordinate on the fly. There's travel time that we need to consider. Do we have three other people taking out of the canal? We have to determine if it's gonna take two hours or it's gonna take 45 minutes. We don't wanna waste any water. We wanna get exactly the amount we need with a little bit of push water to get it there. It is a lot of moving parts to accomplish all of our water deliveries in the most efficient way. Northern Water has up to 70 plus different water sources that we deliver. City of Loveland, they take water off of one of our canals, they take water off of the Big Thompson, um, they deliver water down the Big Thompson to multiple delivery points. Um, and that's just one of our account entities. Our reliance on the CVT system is pretty significant. The CVT supply itself is about 50% of our average uh, yearly raw water source. And we use the Northern Water System when there's excess capacity to convey our native water rights. 
most of the work I do if it's a CBT unit, water will be going through your web portal and just making the order configuration there and submitting it and then it takes effect the next day. The communication has always been good. They've always been great to work with, so I appreciate that. Boulder White Rock has uh, roughly 5,500 shareholders servicing about 100,000 acres of land. We get our orders in. I do it both online and uh, I call. Uh, online is convenient, it's e simple, you check the boxes and all in all it, it works out good. At the end of the day, once we have all of that collected, we send out reports to the Bureau, to water commissioners with DWR, those that have wreck rights in the river, those that are rafting, fishing, they need to know if there's going to be a, a large increase in our discharge to the river. It takes a lot. I mean, it takes the whole district, really. There's a little bit of everybody we, we work with. So it's distributions, it's field services, it's water resources, it's uh, water rights, um, the West Slope, the collections team. IT department, and then we work with IC with all the automations the general gist is we're the, the crew of electronics technicians that support the SCADA system that remotely monitors and operates our water distribution system. You can't have 20 people in 20 different places at the same time, but you can have a computer system that performs these tasks across a large geographic area during a really tight time window. The SCADA system really enables us to be able to synchronize our the movement of water around our system in the best and efficient way. You know, back when I first started, we were handed a set of keys and a pager, and, and we had a radio in the truck, and we pretty much that's how we communicated, calling the numbers in, and then we'd bring the piece of paper, the sheet of paper in at night, and the technology is definitely getting better. A lot of progress, for sure. The water's getting shorter and shorter as the demand for water is getting bigger and bigger and it's pretty important to make it stretch as far as we can stretch it and I think it's interesting and, and amazing how far we can make it stretch. Water is an extremely precious natural resource and there's a lot of people that depend on the water that we supply to them and we work in the background to make sure that it's not something that anybody ever worries about.